All right, so. There's actually something I wanted to share with you after this that I meant to share before, but anyways, my day yesterday. What I do is I tell you a story about the hands that I done shook yesterday. And in the telling of the hands I shake yesterday, it tells you about some of my day, as well as my life and my walk. So, yesterday, I tell you before that my intention of going to the Confucius Institute, uh, Hanban, uh, I'm, I'm informed it being referred to in the Mandarin language. So, that's what I do. I go to the Confucius Institute located within the campus of Cleveland State University. So, the means of my transport includes my feet to the health line on Euclid Avenue and uh, taking the bus to, uh, to Cleveland State. That's what I do. And I won't, I won't get into all the details because there's a lot of things I can share, but anyways, I'm on the bus and as I'm sitting there, uh, there's some, some uh, there's a brother and an uncle chopping it up. It's, 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 it's the beginning of the day, early rush hour, mid rush hour, early in the a.m. Um, and so there's this uncle and brother chopping up, just talking it, whatever, having a casual conversation as men do. Uh, however, there's, there's lots of that profanity and some, some, uh, some challenging subject material, which again, there's, there's an absence of animosity, but that's just how men talk. Uh, however, there are additional people on the bus, women, children, and additionally. So in that kind of context, it's just somewhat challenging. So I already tell you about my, my, uh, my position in those kinds of environments. And so I learned a little bit additional diplomacy uh, in, in how to engage in that, in that uh, circumstance. So rather than doing my previous thing of reciting the United De Universal Declaration of Human Rights, or rather than just singing out my own songs and chants and, and uh, blending the, the volume or the audio to, uh, to, to quell the, uh, the angst. On this occasion, I just approach and I say, excuse me, uncle, talking to the elder one with the gray hairs. Uh, I say, don't mean, I, 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 my patience or, let's say, I say, excuse me, I got a question for y'all. Um, and then, so first of all, he's like, well, Who's this dude interrupting our conversation, uh, asking us questions? Well, who are you? Uh, and I, uh, first, I, I noticed he got a, a U.S. vet hat on. So I say, so he got a U.S. vet hat on. And I say, I got different politics, but respect. I respect those that defend need those that need defending. And so he, he didn't know, huh? and so, and I say, I know y'all got your combo and everything. I just got a question to ask y'all. Um, and so. The question I pose is a question I share with you before, and I share with others on the street before, which is, um, considering the Middle Passage, who do you consider to be the three most notable figures emerging from the Middle Passage? So, um, long story short, the Carnival done changed. Uh, where before we're just like do 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 coming at each other, and who all, all the like the, the profanity and just that that angst getting getting vented. Now we're talking about construction, building. We're talking about history. We're talking about culture, tradition, community, this and the other. And so uh, the, the uncle is like, first we needed to, 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 to clarify what, what is meant by the Middle Passage. Um, the uncle said, Marcus Garvey. All right, all right, cool. Then he says, George Washington Carver. All right, we got some, we got some knowledge. We got some history. We got some thinking going on. Um, and then so the, the brother, a little bit younger, he got a little bit of them dreads as well. Uh, he starts to, oh, not that. So then I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa just let him, let him finish his three. He's like, oh, yeah, all right, all right. So then uh, the other, the, the uncle says, uh, Hannibal. And I said, whoa, hold up now. Hannibal, he non go through the middle passage. Um, so all right, I'll, 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 brief, I'll brief this up. So then uh, he says his three. Um, and then the, the, the brother mentions Marcus Garvey as well. So we get into a whole conversation about community and tradition and, and upliftment and everything else and positivity. And it resonates to the point where the first hands that I shake in the day is the brother who gives me a pound during the convo. I'm like, I appreciate that. Um, and then as we wrap up, the, the uncle is also getting hit, reaches his stop and gets off the point. And he's like, all right, all right, bro. And boom, pound right there. The first two hands I shake for that day. So that's where we're coming from, off the bus. Um, so I continue on to Cleveland State as I'm going from the, the, the bus stop. Did you use your accent? Uh, I mix it up a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, what's up, man? I mix it up, so I just talk how I talk. So then, uh, 
coming off the bus stop towards Cleveland State as I'm getting towards the campus, uh, a sister, a younger sister, stops me. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, asks me if I'm Rasta, uh, and then we start talking about Rasta. Now, to be un to be sure, I'm gonna that we actually shake her. I introduce myself. I share my name. She shares her name. I give her my uh, information for us on Ashram. So technically, I, I, it's difficult for me to call if we actually shook hands, but I include it in there just because, effectively, there's there's that connection. So continue on. Then I get to the office. Oh, by the way, I'm saying hi to everybody, waving as I do, as you know I do. Um, and so I get to the office uh, and I get to the Confucius Institute. Uh, I speak with uh, one of the staff members there. I share the information, the material, um, and he communicates the intention of sharing that with the director. I say thank you, we shake hands. Uh, so right there, another another individual, another brother, uh, a Chinese brother, the first the first uh, brother you might be, the first two, the brother uncle you might imagine are from Africa predominantly. Uh, the sister who stops me is also from Africa predominantly, but not to be too presumptuous. And then the brother of the Confucius Institute is a Chinese brother. Um, so different walks of life, different experiences, different backgrounds, uh, all done shake the same hand. So, all, albeit in different ways. So, he also bows, we bow as well. So, there's that. So then I continue from Cleveland State. Hi, hi, hi. Assalamu alaikum. I meant to say Satnam, but it, it was a little bit too quick. I was talking on the phone at the moment. So, um, all those highs. Get back on the bus. Um, then uh, back to, to, to the stop here at the University Circle to return back to this location, vicinity, uh, back to where Osona Ashram is. Um, and as a side note, well, I won't almost say it. Um, there is a point where I share a combo with the bus driver and the, the, I seem like another bus driver as well, talking with him about the latest, newest films on the discount rate, newest hookup, this and the other. And I kind of... I kind of intercede because I had a business to talk with the bus driver and the, the man was standing before between us so, so I, I was listening to that combo for a while but then after listening for a while I had to kind of intercede and say hmm them you got them movies what you watching and he's like the newest I'm like well, what's it about and he was like yo why are you talking to me why are you interrupting our combo but who are you and I'm just like no disrespect I'm just saying we, we come from a we come from a, from a tradition of griots of storytellers we used to sab sit around the fire and talk it up uh, and so I just emphasize that notion of the storytelling. So not just getting the, the latest greatest that uh, that them, them their big big picture shows put on, but doing something with meaning and guidance of where we've been, where we are, where we're going. So, anyways, I, I say all that because we technically we not shake hands. I said no disrespect, and it was we were all copacetic. I did tap him on the shoulder in the process, so there was some contact on my part. So I just include that for that reason. So it's a little bit of a different context, a little bit of onus on myself. But anyways, that was that get the case and I stop because I'm in the vicinity I decided to stop by the offices of some friends um, and that includes stopping at the office of multicultural affairs and I speak with the director there Naomi and another individual who I know a staff member there who I know a friend a brother and a sister Naomi uh, who I know uh, I, the, 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 the younger man the, the brother for works there for a number of years Randy is his name and I introduced myself because both are comparatively less familiar with me. I've spoken to, spoken to the directors in, in previous years, but both are comparatively, comparatively new to me. So I introduced myself, I explained uh, I'm, me being alumnus uh, and having an interest in, in multicultural affairs. I do a Sona Ashram and, and we do this, that and the other. Uh, and so I shared some information about a Sona Ashram and I shared some ideas about programming that the OMA can do at Case. And there seems to be some receptivity because first I talked to the brother Randy um, and He's like, oh, let me get the director. So he bring, he goes to Naomi, and she comes, uh, and then we talk about that. And she also uh, mentions we we start talking about menage, mixed people, because I asked, I brought that topic up in previous years, and she she is increasingly knowledgeable. She talks about the critical mixed race studies uh, conference in in uh, the land of the Miami Chicago, uh, and she actually mentions the the film One Big Hop of Family. Um, and so she has some familiarity with that experience, and I appreciate that. And I say, yeah, we need to do some things about that. Uh, so we got ideas you can share it if you like. And she's like, mm, okay. Uh, so uh, I share that information, and then as we conclude our conversation, oh, we also mentioned the interreligious uh, council. I didn't mention it, they mentioned it. I was like, oh, yeah, we do that too. I know this, that, and the other. So we started sharing some names, and they're like, oh, he does know some people. And most of those people are previous to, to the current administration, but that's just the nature of many institutions. So, but but Randy knew those all the individuals I mentioned. He's like, ah, okay. Uh, so it was like, hmm, maybe he, he is he does know something. There might be some 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 confirmation about that later on after our convo. But 
at least I know what, a little bit of what I'm talking about. And maybe even what I'm talking about knows a little bit about me as well. And maybe even me be able to say a kind word or two amidst the others. Anyways, so as we conclude our convo, as we conclude our convo, uh, I shake our sister Naomi's hand and I shake our brother Randy's hand. Our sister Naomi coming predominantly, presumably, again presumably, from Asia. Um, but with with a hint of melange or at least the experience of melange and then our brother Randy coming predominantly presumably from Europe uh, additional hands that I shake that day so I continue on walking through uh, case campus because these offices are located in different places I actually talk on the on the video with uh, with some some a brother and sister from Italia about another matter on a video call so there was a shaking of the hands across across the pond um, and in and, 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 and the virtual uh, sphere, uh, the, the brother from Italia, his name is David. He mentions John Coltrane, uh, the two are musicians. I say, oh, Coltrane? You know Coltrane? Well, or you know about Coltrane? So I share the story of our far and Coltrane at the club. I mess it up, I mess it up, but I get the gist is there. We already, we were vibing already, so it means little, but it, it, I get it out anyways. So we shake them hands virtually. I continue on and I walk back to Osona Ashram and as I do I walk through the campus, I walk through the streets of Italia Poco. Um, and Celebrating Columbus Day. Well see now that that's off my calendar. So me not know too much about that. I know what it is, but me not aware of it. So they just started I'm walking, doing a I'm, I'm walking I'm walking through the area and I already walked through it once and it was early in the day and I could see a little bit of activity, but not too much. I'm like, hmm, something going on. It was around the church, around the, the I don't, I'm not sure if it would classify as a cathedral, but it was around that vicinity. And I could see, hmm, well, I didn't know if it was a funeral or if it was it, because I saw a lot of people wearing Italia uh, paraphernalia. I'm like, okay, but that's nothing nothing big or different uh, in Italia book. I mean, that's, that can be an ordinary Sunday, it, particularly if it's a match honor or World Cup or whatever. So I'm like, okay. So I'm walking back and I see along the, uh, the side street where the, the tea house is um, that uh, the pub is open and it's packed and people are drinking. I'm like, whoop. It's, it's a little past noon and maybe early in the afternoon and cats is like full on like drinking and, 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 and reveling it up in the middle of the day. I'm like, whoa, this is Monday. What's, what's happening? So I just I just saw the one that I first saw. I'm like, okay, whatever. Keep on walking towards the tea house. Uh, as I'm walking to the tea house, there's a, a brother and sister, a married couple, husband and wife with a, some children, young children, one, uh, one with a stroller going into the tea house. And so I, I pause outside on the sidewalk Again, saying hi to everybody, waving to everybody as I as I walk in, uh, and I'm waiting for the, the the family to get in and make adjustments with the show and everything. So I'm just standing on the sidewalk, and as I'm walking, uh, an uncle walks by in the other direction uh, uh, with his big old Italia sweatshirt on, uh, and I wave, and he he walks up to me and he gives me a pound. I'm like, ciao. He says ciao, uh, and he continues walking. I'm just like, that's lightweight, awesome. Uh, but then again, I'm like, hmm, is it, is, it, is it for me or is it because there's some revelry going on or something else? So again, I have yet to put the mathematics of it two and two together. But I'm just like, whatever it is, even beyond that, it is what it is. And it is beyond all the, all the temporal experiences and biases and uh, accusations it could be. It, it, there's a transcendence beyond all that. So anyways, that's another bad. The uncle from Italia don't give me a pawn and I give him a pawn. So I go into the tea house, algebra algebra provided by the Ummah. Uh, and so I speak with our brother, a Muslim brother, who is the proprietor <coughs> of, of the algebra tea house. Um, and I wait for there a little bit, uh, and, and the, um, there's a, I'm, try, I'm trying to think of the appropriate term. It's not a server, it's not a waitress, it's, it's the, maybe she's a barista, but it's tea, so I'm uncertain what the correct term is, so the tea, the tea barista, if I can say that, She's helping somebody else out, and I'm just waiting there a little bit. And sure enough, our brother Hyman arrives, and he has a little uh, baby in tote, maybe the seven or six month year old, a little bit smaller than eight month, perhaps. Uh, actually, maybe one year old, thereabouts. But he's on his, the baby's on his shoulder, um, and he says, "So I say assalamu alaikum." He provides him with salutations in return, uh, and asks how I'm doing, asks how he's doing, how his family's doing. He says, well, and there's a alhamdulillah in there. And then he says, it looks like I've, I've lost some weight. I say, I'm treating the universe better. The universe is treating me better. And, and so he's thankful and, and uh, we pound it out. Um, and I continue on my way uh, through. So, so at that point, my, the question was whether I go the side street up, up, uh, up the hill, 
that uh, that avoids the traffic and that's just what i was thinking of before i got to algebra and before i was like again all the revelry and everything else but after i left the tea house i just kept on going the main route towards the main street just that's because that's my that's my uh my familiarity so I, I as i'm starting to walk i'm like whoa wait a minute i was thinking about going the side street because i imagine it's quicker um however i'm like i'm already walking so i'm not going to double back i'm just going to keep on walking and as i'm walking indeed the restaurants all packed indeed the metaya all around haha -ha. i say oh wait a minute it's autumn i <laughs> i have an idea what it is uh and so i'm like haha -ha, here we are <laughs> but i need not to be militant or belligerent i can still be who i am truth and love and compassion and modesty and all that so i continue waving to everybody and i can get the, the some of the looks that you can expect get in at Italia Polka and I get some highs and waves back a lot more than you might expect one might expect everybody's in a good mood well that but also either even then still but it's again it's beyond it it's beyond it uh, and I can say I could get into all the different types of people who, who, who give waves all the different types of people who don't give waves all the different types of people who give looks and give waves and give looks and don't give waves um, that goes for Italia Polka that goes for Case that goes for Cleveland State that goes for it all um, oh, I'll give you this other one. All right, so that's that's pretty much the wrap up. That's who I shake hands with that day. Um, we got Africa, we got China, we got uh, Asia, we got we got huh? Italy. We got oh, we got <coughs> Europe, and we got Italia, and we got all that I am as well, which is Earth. And I tell the sister that who asked me about being a Rasta. And she just she kind of she gives me kind of a, a number of side eyes during our conversation, but it wasn't like I was like because I call people out when I see that I was like oh I see a little bit of side eye there she's like no uh, and, but we kid you and she seemed she was very genuine and, and appreciative and so I appreciate that and she just just called herself as looking and searching so I appreciate that she's also a student of français so I parle a little bit on français and I mention our friend my brother Franco um, and she kind of lights up when 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 we start doing the parlay so anyways. Um, one other sh the hands I didn't technically shake hands, but there was an exchange. I'm on the way back from the bus um, As I'm, I'm nearing my stop at, at University Circle at Case uh, I'm at the front of the bus standing up getting ready to go and there's a there's a uh, I'll say an auntie uh, who's sitting on the on this on the uh, chair on the aisle uh, facing the aisle and She hands out a, a pamphlet She hands out a pamphlet uh, to the woman the sister sitting in front of her um, again, as you might imagine, it's the, the Christian missionary in, in, in action, uh, and so she's sharing the pamphlet about her faith. Actually, to be honest, no, I will say Christian because later on, but just that's the realm of familiarity. So she hands the, the pamphlet over to the sister, the sister takes it, and, and actually I think the sister refuses. Um, and, and then so the auntie looks at me, who's, who I'm sitting right next to the sister, and she gives she offers me a pamphlet. So as I do okay i'll take it i'll look at it i'll listen because that's that's what i am um a an, an acceptor of all uh and so i'm not right, cool but you know what i got something myself so i took my last uh bit of the asuna ashram thing that says what is your dharma uh and and has all that them that them symbols and words and everything and i say oh i got something for you so i dig in my bag and i pulled out my last one and it was a little bit weathered and everything but i say here you go and she kind of looks at it and and she goes and gives it back to me. I'm like, ah, oh, okay. And I go back in my bag and I go in and get that pamphlet she gave me. I say, here you go. There it is. Uh, no mad, no, 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 no anger, no. But if you're not listening to me, guess what? Um, I believe it's Jesus who says, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So I accept. No, no, I, I, no, no, no. I, I'm just, that's, that's what it is. So. If, if, if she's willing to share what she has, but not willing to receive what I have, then that seems a little bit different than equal reciprocity. Uh, so given that, and she didn't argue with it, oh, okay, and there's it, so boom. Now, I still have a little bit left to go on my, on my, on my commute, uh, so I'm just standing there, and I don't want that to be the last taste in our mouths, that, that, last, that, that effect, effectible, effective mutual rejection. So I say, hmm, you're Christian, are you? And okay, yes, she affirms. And I say, ah, have you read the Bible? And she, 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 kind of, she kind of looked at me like, of course. I'm like, well, you see, of course. But you know what? There are lots of Christians. And there are lots of Christians that are handing out Christian pamphlets that ain't read the Bible. That ain't even read the Gospels. 
or, or even a full a full book of the gospel so it is it is a legitimate question now I understand you might take offense to that but you know it's a legitimate question so um, I just and I'm not testing I'm just I'm just let know so I say I have this offer with you um, and you can you can disagree if you like you can agree with you like but I just pose this for your consideration um, within the Gospels Matthew chapter 5 to 7 Cinco a siete. I didn't say cinco a siete because it was, it was enough dissonance in the communication already. So I said Matthew chapter 5 through 7. I provide to you... Chapters 5 through 7 or yes. chapter 5 verses 1 chapters through 7? Chapters 5 through 7. Okay. I provide to you that being the the crux. And I utilize that word. And I, I was thinking as I was saying crux, hmm, that's, rather, that's rather similar to uh, something else like cross or crucifixion. But I, 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 as I'm speaking, I'm just saying I'm to say that. The crux, the foundation, the essence, the epitome of the teachings that Jesus provides. And I'm explaining that I study the, the Gospels and the Bible on a regular basis, on a daily basis. Uh, and so, but beyond whatever I said, in me just saying Matthew 5 through 7, I, we are in the trees a little bit at the moment. So uh, as I say that, I could see like I, there was something that, I, that was tapped. Because right then I was, qu I was quoting scripture, I was, I was at least at citing or re referencing scripture. So I think for many Christians who are, who are trained in a certain way, when hearing that, there's an automatic, oh, now there's a responsibility of actually seeing what that is and responding to it. Rather than just like talking words, 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 there's an actual reference to scripture. So now it's, so what she do? She done pulled out her Bible right there, her ready, steady Bible to study. And she opens it up. She said, what did you say? No, what was it? And I say, Matthew 5 through 7. Uh, so she goes, opens it up. And she's got a little bit of highlighted. Uh, portion on there and what she do she go right to the Beatitudes and she starts reciting it uh, She didn't even question me. She just says oh you cited something. I'm gonna read it I'm not even gonna like pre-read it and then say I'm, I'm gonna whatever you said I'm gonna read it right there in front of us. So she starts reading the Beatitudes uh, And I guess I look like she was reading the highlighted portions now as you ask me at this moment Whether I was distinguishing between chapters 5 through 7 or chapter 5 verse 7 I noticed that she didn't begin at verse 5 or chapter 5 verse 1 because it doesn't begin with the Beatitudes. It begins with a description of Jesus going onto the mount and then beginning that address. And then the Beatitudes is, is, is subsequent to that. But she begins directly with the Beatitudes. And so I'm thinking maybe, to be honest, I, I have to think, Beatitudes might start like right about there. So I'm unsure if she did think, you got the visit on your arm. Uh, I'm on, she, might, she, she might have uh, begun with that 5-7. I have to look into that. But anyway, that's where she begins. And maybe she was just beginning where she already saw a highlighted part, so she said, oh, this is familiar, it's a safe territory. She so may I, have thought it was chap because people don't usually refer to whole chapters. Whole chapters. Right, I know. Verse but, 5, but, but, chapter 5, but 7, if one is studied, But is, if one is studied, one knows that chapters 5 through 7 is the exact segment, the exact portion, passage of the Sermon on the Mount, where it begins and where it ends. In the in the uh, uh, articulated sense, obviously in the in the, in the transcendent sense, it is eternal because uh, there's truth revel revealed in it. But anyways, uh, so that, that's why I said five through seven because one who, who, who knows we should probably be able to say, ah, that's the Sermon on the Mount. Okay, but the Beatitudes is a legitimate part of it, and, and so she that's what she recites, and and she kind of just like, and I say yes, the Beatitudes that is a portion of the Sermon on the Mount, and I can I provide to you, I offer to you. The Sermon on, on the Mount being the foundation of the teachings of Jesus. Uh, and so with that, I do arrive at my stop. Um, and, and we, 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 we uh, part on, on increasingly positive, affirmative uh, terms. Um, and and uh, I continue on my way. Uh, so technically, hands abstain from being shook. But uh, there is this an exchange as, as significant and meaningful. Uh, so that is my day of, of handshaking during that yeah, period. Nice. Long day. <laughs> I hear you.